guys, welcome back to another video. As you see, I'm wearing a Paul George jersey. So, we're starting a new series about basketball players. And, yeah, so I'm going to be talking about basketball, as you know. And so, yeah, let's just get into it. You guys don't need to know that. And, yeah, today we will be talking about Giannis Antetokounmpo. I know how to say it. It's Giannis Antetokounmpo. So, yeah, so, talking about Giannis. And, yeah. So, as you see, late in, early in his career, he was a bust. Like, literally only averaging about four points per game. Uh-huh. So, yeah. People are going to say, people will, will say he's a bust. But then, next season, 20, that was his, 20, his first season, 2013, averaging, like, three points and, like, two rebounds and 0 0.9 assists. Now, 2014, he got a, a bit better, and he started to average 5.8 points per game. And, yeah, and three rebounds. So, yeah, his he got better over the years. And then 2015 is when almost, I yeah, almost when he almost came out from his bad season. In 2015, he averaged six points. He didn't get that much of an upgrade, but guess what? In 2016, he averaged... 18 points per game and was an all-star 2016 if you guys might have known it know that the dunk when uh curry fell to the ground and and uh didn't want to get young dunked on that was a meme and yeah so Giannis. now that was he and he won most improved player that year just saying so he has one, one most improved player so far that's his best Best uh, award so far. Most improved player and a one-time All-Star. 2017, All-Star, 20.8 points per game and 10 rebounds. 2018, a better year, was close to an MVP voting. Average, no, and he was an All-Star, three-time All-Star so far. And he was an all yeah, he averaged 22 points per game. And then 2019, MVP season, 20 seven points per game and thir 12 rebounds yeah so yeah Giannis is a good player now let's get into his his uh uh ratings for every major like thing so first let's start off with shooting shooting I would give him a 76 76 shooting Rebounding, 80, 93. Passing, uh, about like 82. Because he's a good passer, if you guys know, know, won't know. He has the most assists for uh, a power forward. Now let's get into strength. A 96. His, and then, yeah, and then his, uh, his IQ, probably about 89. Or 88 or 90, somewhere right there. And then now his, uh, what's it called? Yeah, his, uh, his overall. I would give him a 97 overall. So, yep, now let's get into playoff. His, how he does in the playoffs. I would give him, he doesn't perform well, but I, no, he performed, you guys might say he performs bad just because he didn't beat the Raptors, but that's not true, they double teamed him, did not let him get into the paint, and only let him shoot, if you guys didn't know that, and all the kids are saying, ooh, the Raptors are the best team, Kawhi beat him, he's so trash, no, he's not, you will probably say he's good just because he went, no, he's not, he's a good player, can lead his team to a ch uh, conference champion. I'm sure he can win a uh, championship. Because everyone's saying he's bad because he didn't beat the Raptors. It doesn't matter. Kawhi was on that team. They double teamed him, first of all. And yeah, he didn't He didn't even get into the paint. He averaged 20 points against that team. They, he actually, against Kawhi, he only averaged 15. Dang, as you see, Giannis can perform well, but that was just because the Eastern Conference was good that year. Now it's back. I'm sure they could probably make it because now if, if they none of the teams could stop, be honest. The best player 
that could stop Giannis in the whole league is prob in the whole Eastern Conference. Hmm, is probably no one. The most, the closest is probably uh, Ben Simmons. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, Ben Simmons. Yeah, that's how good he is. People say only people in the Western Conference could stop him. LeBron, AD, no, not LeBron, AD, and Kawhi. Only people that could stop Giannis. Mm hmm. And I could. I would probably say they win the championship by 2026. No, 2020. I meant uh, 2022. The Lakers? No, 2021. The Lakers are going to win this year. And then the Bucks are going to win next year. Or the Clippers. You never know. If that team, because that's Giannis' last year on that team, unless he stays. Yeah. So, he's a good playoff performer. And is a good scorer. He averages 20 points per game. He's 25 years old. Imagine in the next five years, that's not even his prime. If this is his prime, imagine him when he's 30. Yeah, imagine. I would say all time he would rank. Once he gets, once he retires, he's going to be in Hall of Fame. And he's probably going to win three MVPs. I would say he wins one this year, one last year, and then one in 2020. I think, yeah, 2021. No. Yeah, only two MVPs. Yeah, and then a most improved player, obviously. And maybe a one championship, one championship. So, yeah, Giannis is a good playoff performer, and people's kids say that he's not a playoff performer. So, yep, now let's get into his stats. His best season is not going to be his MVP season. His best season is going to be, he's not going to win MVP because there's going to be better players like Luka. He's going to average 34 points, 13 rebounds, and 6.5 and assists. And then his defensive stats, three, two blocks, and one steal. Boom. He's probably going to win defensive player one year. So, yeah. Now let's go see who he plays against. So, I would say the best player he'll play against in the playoffs in this year, like this year right now, and through the, all of this, what is going to be most likely Jason Tatum. Because nobody in the Eastern Conference is that good except for KD if, if he's healthy. That's the only re person that could probably... Not defend, but could beat Giannis in a one on one. If KD starts off with the ball, boom, and it's a uh, winner's ball, KD's gonna win. You know why? Giannis won't have a, a won't have enough speed to get pa to get on us. As you know, he's not good on the step back. So KD could probably get past Giannis and hit him with a step back. He's so if that game would happen, I would say KD wins. 10 to 6. 10 to 8, I mean. If Katie starts off, if Giannis starts off, Giannis is winning 10 to 5. Mm -hmm. Giannis is going to try and hit a 3. He misses. Katie gets the ball. Scores 5 in a row. He Katie tries to drive. Giannis blocks it. And then Giannis just scores. He knows he can't shoot. And then I think he's going to be a strong shooting. Uh, he could, He's going to be better at shooting probably near 2024. Or 2023. I would say if he worked on it for two more years, he's going to be good. A three-point shooter. And once he's a three-point shooter, I think he could probably try and get past Kawhi and LeBron for the best player in the league. In my opinion, it's LeBron. Kawhi's like right behind him. And yeah. So, yeah. So Giannis performs well. He He is a good player either side. So, yeah, everyone is saying he's trash. And now, let's get to all the haters that hate Giannis. Lumber. So, yeah, let's get into it. It's actually Kawhi, people that like Kawhi. So, yeah. scratch that out. It's actually going to be what Mikey and Chica have to say. And today, we have another special guest. We'll see. He's the next. Chica's sleeping right now, so Mikey, 
You go ahead. Wait, I need to take a turd. <laughs> Get the turd coming. Okay, here's our new special guest. Another turd. What do you have to say about him? I think he's a pretty garbage player. I can't do anything in his life. But yeah. No, he's actually pretty good. Yeah, Anyways, I think he's good. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, can I go back to taking a turd? And Sure. <sighs> Mikey, come here. Oh. Oh. Guys, my turd is pretty big. As we saw, let's wipe my butt. There's a lot of stuff in there, so, yeah. I think Giannis is one of the best players in the league. Best player in the league, in my opinion. He's going to win three MVPs. Four, maybe. Yep. Yeah. Eh, screw you guys. If you hate Kawhi. <laughs> yep. Okay. Guys, I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And thanks for watching. I know. <laughs> Bye.